unbelievably beautiful Getty Center looking at a portrait by Ferdinand Knopf of Jean Kiefer. She's a little girl. Knopf painted this in 1885. He was Belgian. He was Belgian. He was considered a member of the symbolist movement. So he's interested as an artist in depicting subjective, dreamy, personal states of mind. And this is very personal, very much about a state of mind, but I'm not sure that I would call it dreamy in the tradition of symbolist manner. It's sort of straightforward, it at is. least in its representation, but there's also a very subtle kind of intensity to it, which is also a little transcendent in the symbolist sense. What I mean by that is we have this very sort of ordered, structured environment, the architecture and the near right angles, which are all a little off kilter, which is, I think, interesting because it suggests that we're coming at this from a very human perspective. Right. But then we have the little girl. She's so small in that space. Yeah, and I think that the geometry that she's surrounded by of rectangles and squares and... Really, that's pretty much it. Rectangles and squares. <laughs> yes. with little, one oval of the keyhole up there. That's the shape of her face. But yeah, I think it suggests a kind of structure and order and the mind of a little girl who tries to make sense of the big world with I its structures. I think that's true, but then there's this interesting sort of slightly disconcerting quality. To which her. Is, to her, which there's is a the, kind of power to her she gaze. she is looking directly yeah. at us yeah, and, there's and a, holding our gaze. Yeah, and there's a sense of power to her childish view. There really is. View She's of, enormously... of maybe a, a kind of sense that she understands things about the world that maybe grown-ups have forgotten somehow or lost sight of. So that has a kind of symbolist quality Something to it, doesn't it? Something kind of magical and imaginative and beautiful. And, and I think he's yes. he's thinking very much about the color harmonies oh, here. Oh, aren't they gorgeous? Yeah, the greens and the grays and the browns. Against the warm browns of her coat and ribbon. Yeah, and it suggests this way that grown-ups have made her and their environment into this pretty thing that she's a decorative part of except somehow, that, except, except that her that. eyes... They betray a kind of intensity, a kind of intelligence, and a kind of curiosity, a kind of knowledge, as mm -hmm. you said, that transcends all of the prettiness. Yeah, and there she is, that solid triangle in the middle of all of those squares looking, and rectangles. But looking directly, absolutely yes, very directly out at us mm -hmm. and holding us. Mm -hmm. Fabulous. Look at the bows on her shoes Aren't that they match beautiful? the bow on her jacket yeah. and the bow on her hat. Yeah. She's but then she has these eyes that are so penetrating. And then there's that intense sort of abstraction in and the, the glass above her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The reflection. Yeah. It's really which is really just gorgeous. It's beautiful.